Hi everyone, Stefan here from Sonic Cinema. Today I'm incredibly excited to introduce our new library, Stringswells. The first installment in our new series of orchestral libraries coming this year. Stringswells features a range of breathtaking playable performances designed to create music with movement. The library was recorded at British Grove Studios by renowned film score engineer Nick Wallage, known for his work on How to Train Your Dragon, Star Wars and many more and performed by a hand-picked collective of 16 of the best string players in the UK. As the name suggests, this library features tempo sync playable string swells that start from low dynamic, grow in intensity and then go back to the original form. It's a really beautiful moving sound. We recorded five different articulations, normale, senza vibrato, sul pond, sul tasto and tremolo. So let's take a quick listen to each one of them playing a two bar phrase. Now, sense of vibrato. Then, sulpont. Sul tasto. And finally, tremolo. What I love is that these are real performances, so there's no need for any complex MIDI editing to try to recreate the movement. You literally have real players under your fingertips, and it sounds amazing. You might have noticed that we have a brand new interface, so let's take a closer look as there's a lot to unpack here. As you can see, there are five available slots, meaning you can play the articulations one at a time, or you can combine multiple slots to create your own ensemble. To activate or deactivate an articulation, you can either click on the toggle in the top left corner or trigger the key switch on your keyboard. And you can see the corresponding note here in the center of the slot. The great thing about key switches is that we can change articulation on the fly. For example, we have a chord. And we want to know how it will sound with tremolo. So we press the B flat and instantly But maybe this is also not the right sound we want for this chord, so we press the A, we have sul tasto now. To change the panning, you can see there is a fader at the bottom of each slot, which you can drag left or right. To adjust the volume of each articulation, there's a fader on the right side of the slot. To access the articulation menu, click the icon with three lines at the top of any slots. For example, we have sul tasto, we click on the icon and let's select tremolo, and now we have two tremolos playing. This library actually features almost 50 custom patches, ranging from articulation pairs, multis, design patches, snapshots, which we'll go through shortly. But first, one of the most exciting things about this library is the ability to change the duration of your swell using the global time fader in the center of the interface. There are five different bar variations you can choose from, half, one, two, three, and four, and you can easily drag the fader left or right depending on the duration you desire. For example, we have two bars, we can go to half a bar. Then we can try one bar.
and four bars tremolo. This well set our tempo synced so they will match the tempo of your project. Moving down, we have two panels that are related to the mix of the strings and contain some really useful setting to adjust the sound to your liking. Starting from the global panel on the left, we have a proximity slider that controls the mix of the microphones, allowing you to get a closer or more distant sound depending on where the slider is set. So let's start at 100%. Then we can bring it down to 50%. And you can tell the sound has already changed. Now it's 0%. We'll take a closer look at the mics in a moment. Next, we have the expression slider that controls the overall volume of the patch. Blur and gloss add a low or high pass filter. Stereo knob will expand the stereo image or turn it into mono. And finally, the dynamic slider, which you can use to tame the dynamics. Now, moving on to the mix tab, here we can really play around with the sound of the instrument by adjusting individual microphones. We use a fantastic range of vintage and modern microphones like Colds, Norman 67, and you can actually find a whole list here in the info page. This is the close mic. Then we can select mid and turn these to half. And far, we can move it to four bars. And finally, ambient. Moving over to the right panel, you can see we have access here to FX, EQ, and Envelope. In the FX page, you have access to Reverb, Degrade, and Delay. The preloaded reverb is medium stage A, but if we click on it, we can see that there are many more available and we can click on Cathedral A. And we can try a drier one like Workshop. The EQ page has lots of detailed options if you want to adjust the EQ within the interface and if you want to adjust the shape of the swells, you can use the provided envelope. So this was the first page that contains the main controls you need to get started. Next up, we'll check out the mapping page. This is a really satisfying and intuitive tool to use. Here we can see all articulations. Um, the ones that are currently on are highlighted and have the toggle on, but we can choose to activate or deactivate them 
by here too, by clicking on them. At the edges of the keyboard, there are two arrows, and by dragging them in left or right, we can decide on the range of that specific articulation. For example, if you want sul tremolo only in the upper half and sul tasto only in the other half, it's really easy. Just drag them. We can adjust this even further with a fade control that will create a fade in and out of each mapping zone if we click on it. While the octave will transpose up or down an octave the articulation. And this means essentially that you can create your own ensemble, which is really exciting and not something you've seen on other string libraries. Moving to the Gator page, if you have used Sonic Cinema's libraries before, you're probably familiar with it. It's a really fun tool to use that adds a Gator to the sound. You just need to click the toggle. We provided lots and lots of different presets to choose from, with various rhythm combinations, which you can find below. Maybe you want 16 triplets. Just click here. Or you want to have a, a knife note. Of course, not only that, the interface is really comprehensive, so you can change the strength, the, the width, the mode, it can be random, you can change the direction, and so much more. When you explore the library folder, you'll find various folders inside called Singles, Pair, Design, and Multi. Singles contain single articulations pre-mapped, so only the one you select will be turned on. Then we have pairs that were created with what we think are interesting combinations. Perhaps normal in tremolo. And we can click to four bars. Really stunning. Then we could try perhaps another one like Senza Vibrato and Sultasto. Design patches, they are custom patches with preloaded effects on top. And of course, all made in the box, nothing external, so you can tweak it as you like. So let's listen to a few of them. Arctic Tundra, I love it. This one is fantastic. And let's try another one. So we can see here that the gator was used, and as I mentioned, these are only in the box. So if we click on mapping, for example, we can see the normale and sul ponte are on, and each one of them has a different range. Home will show us that fire and ambient were used, and the four bars. But everything is so customizable. So if you want to change it, for example, to two bars, or add sense vibrato, or even change the rhythm of the gator, then it's really easy to do so. Then moving on, we have multis that combine few of them.
And if this wasn't enough, every patch comes with two snapshots. So if we go back to the beginning, um, we click normally, we click here and we see youth space and gator. So youth space um, has this incredibly beautiful reverb on top. Let's try to play something. really stunning and snapshots are so useful as you can with a click really have this nice lush sound and the second one is the gator which we heard and you know you could trigger it and with a toggle and go to the gator page but it just a click away like this <laughs> And the snapshots are for all single articulations and pairs. So this is Stringswells, a truly remarkable library, innovative in many ways, that will add movement and emotion to your pieces. Coming with a brand new interface, five different articulations, mapping options, gator and design patches, the amount of content is truly incredible. You can learn more and listen to demos on our website. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions and what you think of the library. Thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you in the next one.